Former Liberal Party Federal President Tony Stately has died at the age of 83. The former member of the Victorian seat of Chisholm was an officer of the Order of Australia. Born in Western Victoria, educated in Melbourne, Tony Staley served as member for Chisholm for 10 years. He was instrumental in 1975 in Malcolm Fraser's bid to become leader of the opposition. He was a minister in the Fraser government in portfolios of communications and the Capital Territory. He was a great friend, not just of me, but also of the Liberal Party more broadly. You know, Tony Staley entered the Parliament back in the 1970s. He was one of the architects of the dismissal of the Whitlam government, but he left politics at the tender age of around 41 and yet continued to dedicate his life to the Liberal Party, uh, serving as federal president for John Howard. He was a lion of the Liberal Party. His wisdom and experience will be greatly missed, but he was also a personal friend and mentor of mine, and I caught up with him just a couple of weeks ago. Uh, he will be sorely missed by so many of us. John Howard once described him as a person with immense personal courage. In 1990, Staley was involved in a road crash, left with serious injuries, needing him to use calipers to walk. When John Hewson called a leadership spill in 1994, Staley caused controversy when he withdrew his support for the opposition. Staley stayed on in the position despite Alexander Downer defeating Hewson. He then backed John Howard's bid to become leader of the opposition and ultimately Prime Minister. Howard also described Staley as having considerable grace and eloquence. Sky News understands the, the leader of the opposition, Liberal Peter Dutton, recently visited Mr Staley. Tony Staley was 83.